All of these suggestions are made for the Weekend Warrior Gravity Riders. We pedal up so we can enjoy the down. Next, we'll turn our attention to the cockpit, and the first step is to determine the width of your bars. The first step is to measure your arm span. For most people, that'll be the same as your height, but some of you will have slightly longer or shorter arms compared to your bodies. Once you have your arm span in centimeters, Multiply that by 4.2 and 4.4 to get the range of your min and max widths. I'm a touch over 5'7", and my arm span comes to 171 centimeters. My safe bar width falls between 718 and 752 millimeters. If you have an arm span of 6 feet, your safe bar widths fall between 768 and 805 millimeters. The best place to start is your max width. If you cut your bars there, your hands will naturally fall to a comfortable position in that safe range. In general, when working within your bar width range, the wider end will give you a little bit more added stability on the trail, and the lower end will tend to be a little bit easier on your shoulders and upper back. Once you've figured out your bar width, the next step is to find your back sweep. Bars come with various degrees of angled back sweep, from 7, 8, 9, 10 degrees, 12 degrees, all the way up to 16 degrees. One of those angles will naturally fit the ergonomics of your wrists, elbows, and shoulders. And finding the one that matches your body will make a big difference to your comfort level on the trails. To measure your back sweep, tie two pencils together with a piece of string, the same width as your bars. With your shoulders relaxed, stick your arms out in front of you about the same distance as you would grabbing your bars. At that point, have a friend mark the two ends of the pencils against a square edge. From there, you can use a protractor or an app on your phone to calculate the angle of your hands. Pick a bar that has a back sweep that most closely matches that angle. Once you've figured out the width and back sweep of your bars, the next decision is to pick your rise. Typically for gravity riding, you want a high front end. If you look at downhill bikes, you can really see this trend. Most bars come with a rise anywhere between 0 and 45 millimeters. Typically for gravity riding, you're going to want to choose something 30 millimeters or higher. Now that you've picked your bar, it's time to choose how many spacers to put underneath it on the steer tube. Adding spacers does two things. First off, it increases the height of the front end of your bike, and that's a good thing on the downs. The second thing is it decreases your reach while increasing your rad. So you can use the number of spacers to zero in on the rad number to match your body to your bike's frame. Okay, we're almost done with the cockpit. We've picked our bars and the number of spacers. Now all we need to do is pick our stem. You're typically gonna to wanna to get a stem between 30 and 50 millimeters long, but it all depends on your bars. It depends on the back sweep. It depends on when it starts to angle back, the width. It even depends a bit on your head tube angle. What you're gonna to wanna to do is get a stem that places your hands 20 to 30 millimeters ahead of your steer tube axis. This will give you a good combination of steering, handling, and stability.